On many occasions, we set up environment variables to allow our applications to run properly. And this is especially true if we run our applications using containers. More often than not, a handful, if not all of these environment variables contain sensitive values, which, if not properly managed, can be leaked out and result to your system being vulnerable to hacks and attacks. If you're new to this channel, I'm George and you're on Pablo Spot, a space where I show and tell practical examples and sample implementations on DevOps and cloud technology in general. In today's episode, we will look into how environment variables with sensitive data are managed through Parameter Store and accessed via AWS ECS. So, let's get into it. Let's start coding. On the episode on setting up Parameter Store records in AWS, which you can access right here, we looked into how we can use Parameter Store as a management service to store environment variables that contain sensitive data. We are going to build up on how these Parameter Store records are accessed to ECS infrastructure, especially when we start configuring applications that will run through containers in ECS. So the question is, how exactly are these referenced in ECS? This repository that I have open on my VS Code is the one that I used when we talked about ECS running on load balancers. So let's go ahead and open my main.tf. We will only look at how ECS consumes environment variables set up. So I am going to simplify today's episode so as not to overwhelm the information that's provided. So what I'm going to do is comment out the creation of load balancer components somewhere at the end of my main.tf. I also need to make sure that I use the latest version of my Terraform module for ECS. So what I will do is get rid of the version property inside my module block. Because I'm now using a new version of my module, I will add a new property called attach to LB and set the value to false. I also need to update how I set up my container definitions property and change this to a JSON encoded value. Now, what I'm going to do next is head to the top of this main.tf file and create my parameter store resource. This parameter store record is for an environment variable with plain string value. And if I want to use this as an environment variable to my Docker container, I will need to set up an environment property and add a reference to this record. So if I head to my locals.tf, All my container properties are set here. I only need to set up for one container, so I'm going to comment out the other one. And inside this Nginx section on my app list, I will add a new property called environment. This property accepts a map. And inside this map, 
I will add an entry for my environment variable. And the value assigned to this will come from my parameter store resource value. And then if I switch back to my main.tf and inside the container definitions property on my module block, I will set a new property called environment and extract the value accordingly. And now, let me head to my VS Code terminal and start standing up my infrastructure. So I'll start with exporting my TF workspace. And then set my AWS credentials using AWS Vault. And then run Terraform init. Terraform plan. And then Terraform apply. And now that my ECS infrastructure is created, let me switch to my browser and then head to my AWS web console. And the first thing that I'm going to do is head to my parameter store And right at the end of this list is the parameter store record that I have set inside my code. And if I open this record, notice that the value of this record shows up straight away with plain text right here. And if I head to my ECS, and open my MyNGINX cluster, Click on the task definition right here and then scroll down to the section for my container and expand this. On the environment variable section on this page, we see the environment variable and the actual value assigned to it. If this is a sensitive value, showing this in plain text is not right. So what do we need to do? Let me switch back to my VS Code. And then head to my parameter store resource code. I will change the type of my record from string to secure string. And then I'm not going to make any other changes. Instead, I will head straight to my VS Code terminal and start updating my infrastructure. Now, let me switch back to my AWS web console and head to my parameter store.
And if I go ahead and open my parameter store record right at the end, notice that the value now is encrypted. So I managed to ensure that the value is stored securely. And if I have the appropriate permission to view the value of this record, I can click the show link in here and the value will be revealed. Now let's go to my ECS. Click on my Nginx cluster and click on the task definition. Head to the container definition section. On the environment variable section of this page, the value of my environment variable is still in plain text. This is still not right. So let me head back to my VS code to fix this. What I need to do to ensure that the sensitive value of my environment variable is not revealed in the configuration is to change how I assign the environment variable to my container definition. So let me head to my locals.tf. By now, we would have realized that if we use environment as property in the container definitions, the value will be displayed in plain text, which means we need to use a different property to make sure sensitive data are not revealed in ECS. This property is the secrets. So I will replace environment to secrets. And then on my main.tf, right on the section on container definitions. I will replace environment to secrets accordingly. For now, I'm not going to make any other changes. And so I will head straight to my VS Code terminal and update my infrastructure. And as expected, the Terraform apply failed. It is not very obvious in the error message, but this message is generally an indication that the value assigned to the secret is not correct. So let me head back to my locals.tf code. And unlike the elements of the environment property, Secrets need to have values in ARN format. So what I need to do is simply replace the value property assigned here to ARN. Now, if I head back to my VS Code terminal and update my infrastructure, And now that my infrastructure is updated, let's switch back to my AWS web console. And then go back to my Nginx ECS cluster. Click on the task definition right here. And then head to the container definition section. Notice that the environment variable value is now an ARN instead of the actual plain text value. And if you need to know the actual value for this ARN, you will have to head to the actual resource record in parameter store. So let's do that.
And like what I pointed out earlier, if you have the right permission to view the value, you should be able to click the show link right here and reveal the sensitive information. And that's all I have for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning, stay safe, and Happy New Year. See ya.